concussion's been around for a very long time, obviously, thousands of years, and ever, ever since anyone had a head injury, concussion's been around. And I think people, uh, in some ways, took it lightly. Uh, they thought, well, it's, it's something that's transient. Uh, you get a ding, especially in, in sports. It's something that uh, you shake off and you, you go back into the game or, uh, you know, you, you rest a little bit and all, everything gets better. And uh, we found, uh, not only from athletes, but also returning troops, uh, that uh, some of these uh, symptoms and, and cognitive problems are persistent, and they interfere with a person's quality of life in terms of performing uh, their daily functions, their work, um, their social interactions. And it can be incredibly disruptive to the point of, uh, of uh, people can't hold down jobs, uh, they, have, they have problems in their personal relationships, a lot of depression, suicides, and so on. And so this is uh, really uh, focused people that have originally, uh, and a lot of neurosurgeons that have been uh, looking at severe TBI, to now uh, look at concussion or mild TBI as well, and, and from a scientific point of view, what's going on here? Um, these people look like they're awake. A lot of them have CT scans and MRIs that are normal, uh, but obviously a lot of these uh, folks are suffering uh, from, from uh, their head injuries, and we have to find out what's going on. So that's fine, but you've got to define what it is before you can really target it in terms of diagnostics and therapeutics. And so far, uh, we've had a lot of people put a tremendous amount of work in. Um, to come up with expert-based uh, consensus process definition of, of concussion, and I'll, I'll refer to it as concussion <laughs> as opposed to mild traumatic brain injury, because really concussion's under the umbrella of mild traumatic brain injury. Mild traumatic brain injury means you're awake after a head injury. Um, it really, there's other people who have defined it a little further in terms of imaging, but in terms of what we see in the emergency room Glasgow Coma Scale, somebody's awake after a head injury. Uh, concussions got a little bit more to it, and that's where a lot of uh, consensus groups have focused their efforts on in terms of definition. Um, if we look at that, there are over 30 different definitions, and we're trying to come to some standard definition based upon what the evidence is. Now, what do I mean by the evidence? Now, the evidence in a definition is a little harder to figure out as opposed to what's the evidence for a certain diagnostic or a certain therapeutic. Um, you know, we do the guidelines for uh, uh, severe traumatic brain injury. We're looking at, say, the effect of mannitol on intracranial pressure and outcome in uh, patients with severe traumatic brain injury. That, you can look at the evidence and for therapeutics in that area. Now, how do you do a definition? Um, and um, so we put together a proposal and said, we, we think that looking at um, the evidence uh, in terms of the signs, the symptoms, the neurology, the cognitive functions of these patients after a presumed head injury, and we look at the prevalence of these signs, symptoms, and neurocognitive deficits after the head injury over, say, a period of three months. And let's look at that picture, and let's look at the evidence and uh, weigh the evidence in terms of how good the quality of evidence is. If we create that picture, what can come out of that is really a definition. Here's what we see. Here's the natural history of what happens after somebody has a head injury. That has not been done yet. We don't have a clear picture. We all have our own individual assumptions and biases about what we think a concussion is. But we really need to look at the evidence. And then from the evidence, a definition will come out of that. Uh, we put together a proposal. Uh, it was funded by the Department of Defense recently. It's a partnership with uh, CDC. Um, the Center for, Centers for Disease Control, and uh, specifically Rick Hunt, who's head of injury prevention. Um, we partnered together to, to really come up with some kind of definition that's based upon uh, best evidence. And uh, the federal agencies are involved, uh, medical societies, uh, stakeholders in, in, this, uh, in this area are all involved. We, we want to get the, the word out. We want people to be involved in this and know what we're doing. Um, and, you know, after we go through this process of getting the evidence, uh, the task force, which, which are representatives of federal agencies, medical societies, and other stakeholders, will be able to look at this evidence in a very clear way and 
that interaction, from the interaction, a definition will come out of that.